Good morning, everybody. Did you miss me? Don't answer that. So this is our uh, house right now. <laughs> if you watched yesterday's video, you saw this last night. We are installing a sliding patio door there. It's gonna go along the side of the frame here, so we're gonna leave those there. And it's gonna be a little bit wider, we gotta extend it a little further that way. So I'm gonna take off the drywall all the way up to that window there, just so it's easier to get a clean cut and uh, rather than having like this whole line all the way down here to have to putty and everything, do it right to the window. That'll just make it a little easier for us, I think. Plus we have to take these slats off because this house was built like a rock, like a Chevy. And it uh, was built to last, obviously, a very, very long time ago. This is a pre-war house. I believe this was built before both wars. Uh, both of the big ones. We've had many since then already, haven't we? To clarify, before the World Wars. And uh, we got to take these slats off, widen this, put a new header up there, reframe it, pull the window out, put the door in, level it, secure it, then close it all back up. And then, we have to put some steps out there yet, so that it's not such a drop to the ground. So it should be fun. This is what we're doing today. Dad is on his way here. He should be here any second. You would be going nuts if he was here already. That's how I didn't know he had gotten here yet, but he's probably about two minutes away. And uh, my buddy Rick, he's coming later to help us with some of this heavy lifting after he's done work. I'll we'll see if we can install us a door today. How about it? And like I was telling you yesterday, I wanna, this is a learning experience for me. My dad uh, used to be a framer, so he knows what he's doing. He, uh, he's done this kind of thing many times before. And uh, it's a learning experience for me. I wanna learn how to put this door in here so that when we do the same thing with the window in our master bedroom to put a sliding door out the front, uh, I sort of know what I'm doing. I'll you know, probably still get his help, but at least I'll know how to do it myself. One day I can pass on that skill and that knowledge to someone else. So we just made a pretty good discovery here. Absolutely. We don't have to put in a new header. So you just reach up here and the other door will only reach up to here. So this head is already plenty long enough. So we just got to cut this off and then fill it behind there. So we have uh, something to screw the jam in. So Voila. this, this isn't the original window. Uh, you see how the header starts there? And then it goes all the way there past this window. This was put in afterwards and reframed. We only needed to go up to here. And there's another header there for some reason. Yeah, there's been either a window or a door here before they put all of this on there. You can't see exactly how far the header is going in there. But this just helped us along a huge deal. Don't have to rip it out. Huh, well, there you go. Well, if we would have known there was a header in the middle, it would have been pretty easy to put the door in the middle. Exactly. If you want, you might. I might be able to, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We'd have to ask the wife about that one. Oh, yeah. And yeah, we have to yeah, see yeah. how far that header actually goes on top of there. We should take this, this broken one off here. Yeah. And see where the header stops there. Yeah, because if it's big enough for the door, you could still easily put the door, it's already framed. In the middle. If it's big enough, yeah, we gotta have 60, 60 inches. We'll get back to you. From here. Oh, I don't know. Edward. It's probably not big enough. That header looks a lot smaller. Yeah. Because this header is gonna be just barely big enough. Just a couple inches too long. Yeah, see if it's that two by four goes inch and a half here. So it would have it would have to reach past that joint. And there it's definitely there's definitely no more header back there. It probably goes uh, right to this edge here. Yeah, probably right here. Dan, so it would be too small. 55 inches or so, or 50 inch header? Yeah. Okay, so that's too small anyway, but at least we know that there's a header there for some reason. There was at one point something there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's right, this side goes right through. Yeah, this one's too bad, it's too short. Too I short. have to stay with. That's Our fine, this on. was the original plan anyway, so. All right. Okay, let's get going well, on that. See you guys all later. Every once in a while I show up in this trucker Josh vlog, okay? Eh?
He gets recognized more than I do on the road. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the old odd guy. <laughs> I get kind of stick out like a sore thumb. <laughs> my sister, uh, he was helping my sister the other day, and he had his truck parked in her driveway, and her neighbor recognized his truck from pickup my truck. videos and pickup went and asked... Pickup. Yeah, the pickup truck. Not even the semi, the pickup truck. Yeah. And went and asked my sister if, if she was Trucker Josh's sister, because they recognized Trucker Josh's dad's pickup in her driveway. <laughs> Famous guy. What can I say, eh? <laughs> so we're just working on widening the hole here on the outside. <laughs> so we have aluminum siding on the outside of this house. It's a little tough to cut through. So far so good. As long as the cut is at the right place, and then we're okay. But if not, <laughs> somebody's in trouble. <laughs> we, we measured it over and over again to make sure that it didn't go too wide. Too, too small is okay. Yeah, we too... can always cut it a little bit more, but can't cut it shorter. Yeah, you I can't mean, take back a cut. <laughs> And there we go, you can see the old opening, and this is how big the new opening will be. This window was exactly the same as that window over there. So there was two equal windows on the back here, but now at least we'll have a door we can get out our back, because there's no back door here. That would be a big benefit right there. Yeah, we want to get into the backyard. This is where we want to let our dogs out. We want to stop letting our dogs out onto the front yard, then they go and do their business in the front yard and guests come over and doesn't look so great or smell so great either. We got my buddy Rick here to help us now so I can do even less work. Someone's gotta hold the camera. <laughs> You're rubbing in too much, I can always quit. <laughs> so we're just putting the door in. We're uh, doing the final stages here, just putting, finishing that up. About to just about ready. Just about. I'm gonna set you guys down and go down here. Oh he's noisy. What a noisy guy over there. I'm gonna set you guys down here and then go and do my part. Alright. Yeah, I saw it fall down there. Right there. Uh midway of the ladder. Oh yeah, you can play your foot. Okay. There we go. Whoop! <laughs> we know what we're doing. Oh yeah. We're pros, man. <laughs> we just won't tell anybody else. I'm gonna stick some more money. Yeah, that fits in perfect. Well boys. The next morning is here, and uh, looks like everything sealed up just nicely. This foam weather sealant, I have to cut all that off. And uh, next time I'm home, or somewhere down the line, we'll start re-drywalling everything here. And tomorrow, Dad will be here to do the stairs. So, uh... It was a lot of fun. Dad did uh, a lot of it, uh, very thankful for that. So big thanks to my dad for all the work he did here. Thanks to my buddy Rick for showing up to help us as well. Feels good to finally get that done. Well, it's not actually done. There's a, there's a lot of work to do yet. Let's not get ourselves mad. <laughs> well, Big Frank. Well, Big Frank, you gotta learn this whole vlogging thing yet. You gotta look at the camera. There you go. Hi, y'all. How you doing? I'm Frank. What do you think, bud? What do you think? I think you made one heck of a mess, man.
I reckon he's right. Okay, so I'm gonna be cleaning this place up, sweeping it up, kicking up some dust. Britt is at work right now. She's gonna be home soon. So I gotta have this place cleaned, dusted, before she gets here. Cause her lungs really don't like all the drywall dust and dust in the air. So uh, it took us most of the afternoon. Well, it took some part of the afternoon to get these steps in. So now that these steps are in here, uh, that's it, dad went home, job done. So I've got to cut off all this here yet, around there. And uh, yeah, for now, <laughs> I better start cleaning. She's gonna be home soon and I told her I'd have this place cleaned up by the time she got home. Look, look at that floor, look at that floor. Can you tell a trucker mopped that? Can you tell? Exactly, right? I'm full of surprises. Well, I had a whole lot more footage of this, but apparently half of my clips were corrupted for some reason. It was very disappointing because this was a special day. Uh, I got to spend a lot of time with my dad and my mom and uh, our friends Rick and Sabrina and their dog Bandit. And a lot of my footage didn't, didn't turn out or it was corrupted or it's not working. So... It is what it is. We got the door installed, and uh, like I said before already, a big thanks to my dad. He did most of the work. He knew what he was doing, and I sort of assisted him. And thanks to Rick for coming out and doing some of the heavy lifting with me. And uh, other than that, it was a great day. And I really wish my footage would have turned out. I'm very disappointed, but I'll see you tomorrow. Tomorrow, we hit the road again.